KCAL meteorologist Marquina Brown, she joins us with our next forecast. Marquina, I think a lot of us just want to know, are we over-preparing or is this good? You know, I don't think there's a such thing as over-preparing. I think it's always good to over-prepare, and then if you don't need what you have, then that's a good thing, as opposed to the opposite and not having what you need. Who wants to be in that kind of situation, right? I want to take you right to the satellite radar and show you what's going on. What's important about this storm is that as you see it, right, it looks very different from the way it did, uh, for example, at this time yesterday. It is a little bit less organized, uh, not as defined in the eye area, but there is still a lot of damage that Hillary can do, even if she continues to weaken and ends up becoming just a tropical depression as she gets closer to us. I want you to keep your eye right in this area here. We call that the right front quadrant. In that area of a hurricane is where you have the biggest potential for isolated tornadoes. And so that is another thing that we'll need to be watching out for. Note, though, that it is not a priority, but it is definitely in terms of our potential weather elements, severe weather elements, it is something that we need to at least talk about. Heavy rain is definitely on the top of the list with a high chance of that happening. Gusty winds may be moderate right along with lightning and tornadoes is just slow, but it's something to be aware of because again, here in Southern California, we are not used to that. So just keep in mind that as we continue with, as we just showed pictures of, of lightning and storms and very unstable weather kind of popping up everywhere where that is a very real possibility as well. So I talked about Hillary weakening. Why is she weakening? You can see that she is getting into that cooler water here. Uh, right to the south of this line is where some of the warmer waters are. And of course, as you know, the warmer waters feeds Hillary. But now she's starting to get a little unorganized, not as strong because she is getting into some of that cooler water. That will continue to happen, and that is, yes, a good thing. But remember, Hillary's monstrous. We are going to feel the effects at least uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours, about uh, 265 miles from the center of the storm. We can feel the effects, whether it be wind or whether it be maybe a little rain. Rain bands are definitely possible. Look at the folks in Vegas right now. They are seeing some of the rain that is coming from Hillary right now, have been since earlier this afternoon. Even as we go as far north as Fresno, those folks are seeing some of the first rains from Hillary all the way down to Bakersfield. They are feeling it as well and going in a little bit closer. The rain that they are seeing right now in Vegas is light but steady. That will be us as we head toward later on tonight and especially into tomorrow. So let's time this out for you hour by hour. Watching the clock here tonight, right around 1145, some of the first rain bands coming into the Inland Empire. And of course, as you know, this is an area that we're watching because they are not used to the kind of rain that they're going to be getting. There is nowhere for that rain to go. Then as we head toward 315, it starts to kind of get into uh, LA County and then moving northward, Orange County getting some as we get into about 815 we start to see more yellows more oranges and look at what happens as we head towards Sunday afternoon around 345 just about everybody will be getting in on moderate to heavy rainfall this is the time where there is the potential for not only the heavy rain but maybe some storms maybe some isolated tornadoes very gusty winds then the rest of the system moves up and out of here and as we head towards Sunday night we could start to see it really clear out. We'll be left with the clouds, but the bulk of the moisture will be gone and still waves of rain coming in, but nothing like what we'll see as we head toward oh, tomorrow afternoon, right around 345. Looking at some of the rain amounts, just to kind of sum this up for you, the further inland you go, the more rain you could see the folks in the Inland Empire looking at possibly eight inches, if not more. Some of the models are saying they could see an isolated 10 inches in some areas. The basin seeing about a half an inch to an inch and a half, maybe up to two, and then down to the south there in the purples, just about three. So that's what we're going to be watching out for, ladies, as we head toward the next 24 to 48 hours. Very active here in the weather department, and we, of course, will keep you posted on everything you need to know. Back to you.